Yeah, pretty good. Glove detected. Let's do it again the other direction. Immediately. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is how people drive. Yeah, so getting out of the passing lane seems to be completely broken. That is totally new. So before the lowest speed you could go with autopilot was 18, oh, 15, 10, five, zero. Now everybody watching this that owns a Tesla, I need you to prove me right. If you do not have this update, please go to this menu, tap advanced five times or a hundred times or a thousand times, it doesn't really matter. This is not gonna bring you the update. Comment down below that this did not work for you because I know, I know it doesn't work. What's going on everybody? We're here with the latest software update 2019.40.1.1. I will leave these release notes up um, while I just say a couple things about the release. So this update only has two things, but it's still a really exciting update. So first up we have automatic wiper improvements. Elon Musk tweeted about this saying this will be the first neural net. He called it deep rain. Uh, it's funny we don't see deep rain in the notes here. But that is what he called it. And now the wipers have been trained with over a million images of rain to help it work better. Uh, the auto wipers are a complaint of some people. They seem to work all right during the day. At night, for me personally, they almost never work very well. Here's some footage I took before this update. So you can see an example of it just not working all that well. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. Before deep rain, you can see my windshield is covered in rain wipers and you can't see up there because it's nighttime it's really the only chance i think i'm going to get before the update um but you can see rain all over if you look here wipers are on auto and they just wiped as i said that so they're not very sensitive you can see the rain is building up building up building up and it's going to be a while so as i was driving i had my setting to three i did not have it on auto because it wasn't detecting the rain and i couldn't even see we will test this i'll put some water on the cameras i'll try to just put very small amounts and see if you can detect that the really cool thing is that whenever you intervene with the wipers just like when you're driving this system will learn so if it's raining the system isn't wiping the windshield i click the button the wipers come on it learns that and goes oh okay the wiper should have been on i'm gonna kind of store that information and it will improve over time. The other thing in this update is automatic lane change improvements. It says they've become more aggressive, and this is the first time Mad Max actually matters here. So in the past, people have said, oh, put on Mad Max and it'll change lanes more aggressively, and that's never been true. Uh, the different lane change settings have only been how often it will try to change lanes, nothing to do with the behavior here. So we'll go out on Mad Max, and I am I'm so, so excited for this, because in the past we've seen you turn on the turn signal, uh, and the car just kind of sits there or it'll turn its own turn signal on and it'll just kind of sit there even if there's no cars and you're like what are you waiting for let's go um, so i'm super excited to see if this has improved all right so we're about to get started here and i'm looking in the notes here for the the lane changes so i changed it to mad max nothing here has changed uh, and even the notes here haven't changed and it says that whereas mad max setting will suggest lane changes even when traveling only slightly slower than your set speed, changing the setting does not affect the safety of the lane changes. Now, of course, I don't think they're gonna make the lane changes more dangerous with a different setting, but they're not mentioning like the release notes say that uh, it will make the lane changes more confident and faster when you're in Mad Max. I mean, that's specifically what the release note said. Okay, so we're on autopilot here. We're not on the highway yet, we're heading there, um, but I'm just gonna try a manual lane change. So we are all clear, there's nobody around me. If I click this, immediately, Oh, yes, I am so excited. That was amazing. Let's do it again the other direction. Immediately. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is how people drive. This is amazing. Great job, Tesla. This was one of my biggest complaints. This is gonna make Tesla challenges so much less cringy for me, I hope, because the car's not gonna, you know, before it would turn the turn signal on, you get four or five clicks, and then it moves over. Again, we gotta, we gotta keep doing it. Boom. So this is really good. And, and the, this is how it should work because the car obviously can see that nobody's around the whole time while it's driving. It's not like when you hit the turn signal, it then looks around and decides, oh, it's, it's safe. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna change lanes now. It, at all times, it, it's monitoring the environment. So wow, these lane changes, hopefully people don't think I'm nuts. Um, they, they're really far behind, so I think we're okay. Um, but these lane changes are amazing. I like just want to keep going back and forth. But uh, let's get on the highway. I want to see how it does uh, like on its own. So there won't be much traffic, but I'm going to get in the passing lane and then the car will automatically remove me from the passing lane. And I'm hoping that it makes that decision right away and then does it right away. Um, sometimes in some of my older videos, you'll see I'll get stuck in the passing lane. 
nobody's in the right, you know, and you should clearly be getting out of the passing lane. The car's just not doing it. So let's go see if it's uh, better at that too. That's a little different. It's not what the notes say. It's a little different, uh, but, but that may be part of the uh, updates here. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn this on as soon as I can. Oh, I could have turned it on in the middle of the left turn. Oh well. Uh, so I can turn that off. Come on, I wanna, I wanna see it. Okay, so let's let it get onto the highway. I hope there'll be a car in our way, but I'm sure there won't be. Not gonna be a lot of traffic today. It is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Okay. So no indication of changing its lane. <laughs> Got a little confused there, it's all right. Um, so I'm gonna change into the passing lane here. And again, immediately got over. Very cool. So now the car should kick me out of here, hopefully pretty quickly. Um, hopefully my decision to come over here hasn't affected it, um, but we will see. Another thing I could do is let's get back over. Um, so again, instant, I like that's not gonna get old for me. That's very exciting. So let's do a lot of speeding here, but only to catch up to this guy and then pass them. So still waiting for autopilot to change lanes automatically. It's not doing it. Let me just make sure they didn't change my settings here. Nope, still should change lanes on its own. I don't know why it's not. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so here we go. So turn, turn signal on. Okay, now it's not automatically getting over. Okay, and then it did. It, it got over, but it wasn't instant like when I hit the turn signal. And then once we pass them, it should automatically take us out of the passing lane. Again, the car's doing all of this. I'm, not, I'm just keeping a hand on the wheel. So getting out of the passing lane is not, not working. Like, I don't know, it seems like at all. So that's uh, kind of a step backwards. I've been waiting here for a while. Uh, normally on this road, I mean, it takes me out of this lane every time. So that's definitely a step backwards. Um, and I, I don't know if I can say it's a fluke or not, but from what I'm seeing, this is for sure a step backwards in that it's not leaving the passing lane automatically. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it. Um, changing out of the passing lane is completely broken, which is really unfortunate. That is what I was looking forward to the most. Give this roundabout a try. I'm sure the car will just freak out. That's all right. As long as nobody gets in our way, which is looking good. Oh, the car is gonna stop on its own. So it often does that after getting off an exit. So I will hit the accelerator and, whoa, wow, oh, okay. It just turned off. <laughs> it just turned off out of nowhere. Okay, yeah, so I still can't do that. That was not bad up until it turned off though. Whoa, 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 look at this. Max speed is lower. This is new. So now we have a new max speed of autopilot on, oh, 15, can we go lower? <gasps> 10. Oh, five. Whoa, that's cool. That is totally new. So before the lowest speed you could go with autopilot was 18. Now you can go, wow, hold on. We got to test this on this ramp. We're the only one here. Nobody's behind us. So I'm going to go all, see how low I can go. 15, 10, five, zero. You can go zero on autopilot. Hold on. Let me see if the car literally, look at that. The car stops. So on, no, there's nobody behind us. There's about to be on autopilot. I did a picture of that. You can go zero? What the heck? And then if I click that, it brings us back up to 73. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so weird. I'm so excited because this is gonna allow us to do a lot better testing. So when autopilot goes, I'm like so excited right now. When autopilot goes slower, it has a much better time going around curves, like, you know, turns or roundabouts, any of that kind of stuff. So now we can set it all the way down to five miles per hour if we really want and give the car the best chance to complete those maneuvers. That is super exciting. You know what else that makes me think of? We're getting ready for stop signs and stop lights. That's, that's what that makes me think of. Okay, so auto changing lanes to get around these slow people. And that was good, so that was kind of my fault for the delay. I didn't have my hand on the wheel. Um, and right when I put my hand on the wheel, it changed. Okay, so that truck is passing us. I put the speed up. I want to see if it would turn the turn signal on. Okay, so he's kind of still in our way. So no turn signal yet. So yeah, there seems like there's been some kind of like regression in its uh, like lane changing decisions because we like we should have passed this guy a long time ago. So hand is on the wheel and it is still a little delayed. 
Um, so I guess it's taking into account that you know it's safe when you hit the turn signal, and when it does it on its own, it's kind of giving you a chance to stop it before it just immediately starts changing lanes. You know, overall, I guess it's a good thing, but I wish it would just do it. Um, that's why I have it set so that it'll do it, uh, and it, it just it's like still a little delayed, but it seems a, a tiny bit better. It does seem better. Yeah, so getting out of the passing lane seems to be completely broken. That is really unfortunate. All right, so I'm gonna just hit this turn signal myself. And again, immediately gets over. So yeah, definitely, I don't know, they messed it up somehow where it will not get out of the passing lane anymore. Um, we can see if it detects this red light. Oh, we could go to zero now. Let's do this. So let's just go to a stop. All right, so I'm still on autopilot. Oh, that's so weird. Can I go to, okay, two is the lowest speed. Oh, zero, I guess, is the lowest speed. So I'm on two, and then I'm gonna Go down to zero. Okay, now we're, I'm turning it back up. I'm not using the pedal. Okay, so it can't do the right turn. <laughs> um, that is so weird. So again, I could just stop at, okay, it's not gonna work, but I could just stop at stoplights now by setting autopilot to zero. We need like a zero button, like bam, go to zero. That is wild, that is very cool. Okay, so we're gonna test out these windshield wipers. I guess we need somebody in the car in drive. Um, so let's do some uh, simple tests first. Should check that. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. Uh, and it's going kind of crazy trying to clear it off. Still going crazy. I'm just noticing the windshield wipers are putting a drop back on there when they're done. Okay. Wow. So they're like not turning off. So this is definitely a different behavior. Uh, they used to just kind of clean it off and just stop. Um, so one more. Wow. Okay, one more. I mean, it, the camera's been clear for a while. Just a couple drops. Yeah, it's not detecting that. And then, okay. So, it's not bad. It's not really rain. Oh, I'm getting all wet. <laughs> okay, so those turned on fast really quick. That was good. All right, so we're going to go for more of a misting here. Wow, detected it right away. So, you know, it's, there's no way to exactly prove this is working better. And so once the wipers are activated, they seem to stay on longer because before they, like when you're parked or whatever, they would wipe off really quick and just stop. Uh, and now I just want to test this glove. Yeah, pretty good. Glove detected. Very good. Clears the windshield every time. Well, thank you for watching this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we could do a couple more of these lane changes. I do have a huge baby, if you didn't know that, and she's got to eat. So the video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. I do use their products, and I recommend their products. You can use the code Dirty Tesla Party uh, through Cyber Monday to get 20% off. Otherwise, just the code Dirty Tesla, you get 15% off. Uh, and they already have some sales going on, so it's a pretty good discount. So I look forward to your thoughts. I'm really excited about the wipers, trying them out in some actual weather. Uh, and then autopilot, man, those lane changes, oh my gosh. They're, I mean, like, like, look at this, boom. You turn on, you're instantly changing lanes. Before, it would click three or four times, and it's, you know, I guess it's good to indicate what you're gonna do, but let's be real, that's not how people drive. People hit their turn signal, and then they start changing lanes. So it gives you like maybe a click and a half or two clicks and you're over. So that'll be a lot less confusing for other drivers when you're doing that. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see my car in the next video.